Hey, I'm Josh. You're watching Days of Pain and Victory. Today, we're going to tear down an AMC 360. I picked this thing up on Craigslist, um, did a little bit of trading, and got a pretty sweet deal. So, this, this motor here is going to replace the 360 that's in my Jeep Cherokee right now. Uh, 79 Jeep Cherokee, known as the Big Chief. So, we're going to start tearing into this thing you know I I got fired up on the floor in here uh, I'll put a link to that video if you haven't seen it so I'll be in the description below it sounded really good so um, but now we're just gonna freshen it up a little bit all right so the plan for this motor it's pretty simple we're just gonna warm it up a little bit with new timing set new cam intake carburetor um, and fresh set of gaskets. So we got Summit 8600 cam, the lifters, um, new Summit timing set. Got to replace the valve springs. So got some heavier valve springs, trick, uh, trick flow. Um, yeah, and then I've got my gaskets here. This part's really cool. One of my subscribers, whom I consider a friend, gifted me an intake. So check this out. Got an Edelbrock Torker 2 aluminum intake um, for the AMC motor. So this is kind of what changed my whole decision on yeah I should keep it AMC. So it's not gonna be the perfect intake for you know off idle and stuff. But it should be fun, and I think it'll match up with this cam really well. And I'll go with the smaller carburetor, like 600 CFM max. Uh, good old Edelbrock. So hopefully it'll still be pretty streetable. The other thing is with my doubler setup and the 456 gears, I should be in that high RPM most of the time anyway, so I think it'll be good. So for this video, we're just gonna kind of tear this thing down, clean it up, get it tore down as far as I want to tear it down, uh, check the main bearings, uh, and get it painted up. The other thing I want to do is a 0 to 60 test in the Jeep. Um, so this motor here is essentially the same engine that is in my Jeep. It is either more or less wore out i'm not sure i i think it's less wore out it sounded good and but i'll do a compression test on on uh the one that's in the jeep now um and so we can kind of have a comparison there as well but i just want i want to know how much power am i adding with you know a simple cam and intake oh one more thing in case you missed it on the other video the guy I got it from had just put in a brand new Summit HEI distributor. This will also come with an ignition system upgrade from the factory setup. So that will come into consideration as well on that 0-60 to 60 test. The 0-60 to 60 test is simply just to see, you know, how much power I added. It's the kind of the best way I have. To measure it because I'm not, I'm not going to go get dyno out or anything I don't see the point in that but the 0 to 60 test is certainly not to impress anyone because right now it currently will not get out of its own way it is so slow and I don't expect to break any land speed records I just want to know how much power did I add I just sprayed it with some PB Blaster. I think I'm gonna pull the exhaust manifold off and maybe try to get some heat on that head, see if I can expand the bolt hole a little bit. Cause it is seized real good. I wonder if that thing goes through a water jacket or something. Pretty sure the bolt hole on my Jeep currently, for the alternator right there, is bad. 
so might be a common issue. Got all the accessories off. Now, uh, before I go and tear into it any further, before I start breaking a lot of seals like on the intake and and valve covers and whatnot, um, I'm going to plug up, you know, the the holes that I did expose, like the exhaust manifold, um, where the fuel pump went, distributor, so on and so forth, and I'm going to try to get this block. Um, mostly cleaned up with uh, with the engine kind of sealed up that way junk doesn't get down inside so from here I'll start just plugging holes and uh, scraping and wire wheel and get this sucker cleaned up cleaning on this front because I, I just wanted to get the grease around the you know where the gaskets are and I'll clean this stuff out up on the bench but um, yeah a little engine degreaser and scraping and using a little brush get all the big chunks of grease off so now we'll pull this harmonic balancer and pull the front cover and uh, see what it looks like in there. All right, so the puller I had was not wide enough to capture the bolts on the harmonic balancer. So, a little ingenuity. Came up with something, hopefully it'll work. Um, so just put the pulley back on. 
behind the, the puller. Let's see what happens. How much slop is the timing chain supposed to have? It seems like too much. I don't think I've ever pulled the bell cover off the engine had look this clean. That guy did a little bit of work to this thing. Um, or he didn't go through it, but dang, it looks good. Got it all tore down. Super excited to start putting in my new parts. Still got a lot of cleanup to do. So I'll get all the accessories cleaned up, pan, front cover, all that kind of stuff. Get them all cleaned up and looking good. And still got to get that zero to 60 test. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that before, before the old motor comes out. If you have any tips for me on building an AMC motor, leave them in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Like always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.